to the Black American Hebrew Unity Discussion. And I'm your host, Black Jesus. So come on in, brothers and sisters. This is a continuing in the Bible, um, you know, for the brothers and sisters that want to come to this channel. You know, to the covenant that we have with our father. Let's get this so we are gonna continue. Genesis 12. Before we open up the word, brothers and sisters, we want to bow our heads because this is a message that comes from a higher power. Dear Heavenly Father God, we come to you in prayer this morning, Father God, and thank you for waking us up, Father. Hallelujah. Father God, we're about to open up your word, Father, and help us to understand what it is, God, that you want us to hear it to and come to some form of understanding, Father, what you mean, you want us to do, Father God. We say in Jesus' name, and this message for the brothers and sisters that are this ain't in New York, brothers in New York, all the way down to Southern California. Because we learn, you know, you know, learn our relationship, our royal covenant with the, the Most High, the Highest. The Most High, Jehovah. The true Elohim, brothers and sisters. Glory to God. So, you know, in, in, in the name of Jesus and the blood is shown and is directed toward all those brothers and sisters of the black American, African American nationality who are sleeping and don't know that they are Is here to be that voice for you to receive and hear because the Bible says that the word of God manifested itself in the flesh and that light shine in the darkness but the dark did not comprehend that light. Do you understand, brothers and sisters? And it also says, God said, let there be light. Even before that there was a sun Moon, source as a light. And 
then you go to John chapter 1, verse 1, and it tells you that for the word was with God, and that God was the word, and that the word and it tell you is the spark of consciousness. The very first light that was to be created in this pit. But right now we just learning where it all begins on our faith inside of this relationship with our Father. So chapter 12, brothers and sisters, we will begin to see how our Father began to speak to Abraham. It says, now the, uh, this is in chapter 12. So let's go in, brothers and sisters, so we can, you know, get a better understanding on, you know, the whole thing, you know what I'm saying, on this relationship. So, so we understand that Tyran had passed away in Haran. Okay, we understand Haran, you know, uh, Abraham left Haran. Where, where, uh, where his brothers, you know, where his brother Nahor remained in Haran after Tarah passed away. So, all right, brothers and sisters, and this is for all the brothers and sisters that's in the pit, as you know, of Black American, African American descent. Uh, who don't have nothing from the U.S. government um, acknowledging their presence as descendants of slaves. Mary, Mary, <clears throat> and I don't even have a call on my hand. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, all right. And Mary, Mary, that's it. Put on black sheet. Black sheet. Come on, leave him alone. Let's run in, brothers and sisters, where we got a better understanding now <clears throat> that, you know, that the year of the Chaldees, you know, worship idols, they were idol worshippers, and Tyrai didn't want to raise his son up under those customs. So they begin to sought out a place for themselves away from the human forbidden and it is forbidden for humans to worship idols that doesn't see hear or speak. So, as you see, brothers and sisters, 
when 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 Apron is said here, actually we can go to to uh to to chapter eleven verse thirty one and, and I'll read. It says and Tarah took Apron his son and Lot the son of Haran. his son's son. Haran. Okay, yeah, Haran's son. And Sarai, his daughter-in-law. His son, Apron's wife. And they went forth forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And by the way, brothers and sisters, Canaan means Israel. Because I don't got time to be uh, playing Cooper for Pat. Okay. We're continuing on. I was just showing you, brothers and sisters, in eleven thirty-one, how there was a a a a, a sojourn for me that has begun. And it says that Tarah passed away, and in twelve we will begin to see how how. Our father began, you know, or shall I say how now that God has, has, or how can I say, one has been released, should I say. Let's look at it that way, because that's how the Bible is showing us. Look at it. Now that there was one released from paganism. It he once he was released, he's became he has became receptor. You see, brothers and sisters. So we see that once Abraham has separated from Ur and the Chaldeans, okay, by way of Tarah, his father. You see, his father led him out of Ur from the Chaldeans. And, his, and and Abraham was staying with his father while they were staying with it while while Abraham was still in his father's house in Haran. They accumulated substance. Even his wife Sarai accumulated substance of in the land. Okay, but it was still his father's house. You understand, brothers and sisters, and this is where our journey in space and time begins. All right, so now that he's in Tara's house. Our father is about to speak to him. All right, this is chapter 12, Genesis. It says, Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, and unto a far, uh, out from thy father's house, Unto a land that I will shew you. Shew you. And verse 2. And I will make 
of being a great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3, chapter 12. And I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curses thee. And in thee shall all families. Of the earth be blessed. Verse 4. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him. And Abraham was seventy and five years old when he departed out of Haran. This is in verse 4 and 12 and it will tell you that Abraham was 70 and 5 75 years old he was 75 years old when he departed out of Haran so Abraham was 75 years old when he departed when after when his when his well when he departed from Haran. It doesn't give an age. It doesn't specify age. How old he was. When his. When his father passed away. But it does. Specify. How old he was. When he had left. Haran. Where his father passed away. And remember they coming from Ur. Of Chaldee. So verse 5. And Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, his brothers, his son, and all their substance. Do you see brothers and sisters? He was 75 years old. This was an old gentlemen, very, very old, 75, that's very, very old, nah, <laughs> that, I mean, that's old for us, you know, but, you know, yeah, that's old, but, yeah, but that says a lot, that, that us, ourselves is even able to make it up to such Glorious ages, you know. That's all, brothers and sisters. So, all right, let's continue. And we're going to continue on in five, brothers and sisters. We're going to continue from five, the first five. This is chapter 12. It says, And Abraham took Sarai, his wife, and Lot, and his son, his, his brother's son, and all their substance that they had gathered. You see what I'm saying? When they was in Haran. So you got to think from Ur of the Chaldeans, between Ur of the Chaldeans and, and being situated in Haran up until the point where Abraham, Abraham, Abram left because his name not that at this point in time. His name not Abraham, but you will see how God gives him even that name. It says so. One to six, brothers and sisters. It says, and Abram passed. Wait a minute, brothers and sisters. We got to continue. Five. Five is a very long verse. It says, and they, it says that they had gathered in Haran. It says, and the souls that they had gathered in Haran, brothers. This is very important juncture here. Okay, for all you black African Americans in the United States of America, you need to pay attention 
to what these verses is saying, okay? Pay attention. All right. Okay, because you have to think to accumulate substances that indicates, you know, that indicates a state, that indicates a resource, and that also indicates that it's in your DNA as shepherd to be shepherds as we would later on be able to see what our father is really really you know showing us but let's move along brothers and sisters because i want to be able to post this video it's only giving me 30 minutes so we in six verse six so verse six it says and abraham passed through the land unto the place of sichem sich sichem sichem if you know the correct pronunciation, put it down in the comments below. Uh, unto the plain of Morad. So if anybody that knows what, what Morad is and where that comes from, where, you know, what it's connected to and where it's close from, because they going from Haran. They go, you know, they going forth from Haran. So it says here, and the Canaanites was then in the land. So the Canaanites, like the indigenous people, was in the land at that time. They too was also of the black skinned type. Verse 7, and the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto, it says, and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there builded he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. This is very important, brothers and sisters. Okay, in verse 7. In verse 7. And I'm going to read it. Again, it says, and the Lord appeared unto Abram and said, unto thy seed will I give this land. And there, and this is very important, brothers and sisters, very important. Because don't forget, this is this is unheard of coming. This is unheard of coming from Europe of the Chaldeans. Okay, brothers and sisters, you know, coming from paganism, worshiping idols, you know, uh, practicing witchcraft, you know, Wicca, necronomancy. This is very important because out of all the hocus, out of all the hocus pocus that you feel that's bringing you power and that you get on your knees and pray to and that you feel that's, that's making your life better. Abraham coming from all that. He said it don't mean nothing. And it tells you in seven how he built an altar. Unheard of. And it's slipping everybody's brain. And, and I'm going to read it because I'm going to let your brothers and sisters go after we pray out. But we, we left off in 12-7. Okay. 
and they say, I'll put that. That's going to be our link. Just know, we trying to get an understanding, you know, by our Father naturally. Not with nobody trying to put anything in our brain. So we started, that's why I'm reading it here with everybody. When you can get your Bible, we got my Bible, you read it, you read it with me. And we'll be able to go in as together as birds of a feather in to see how our father is still dealing with his children. We was, you know, he let up his anger off of us during the the time of the Emancipation Proclamation. You see, and he released us into, you know, from slavery with some blessings, with blessings that the United States of America still to this day is not acknowledging, you know, what's owed to the descendants of these slaves that came over to the United States of America against their will. You know, now we all on subsidies, food stamps. We a lot of us disabled, mentally disabled, uh, uh, physically disabled. Section eight, which all these things are very helpful to help, you know, the individual, but not to fix the problem. You see what I'm understand? See what you see? What we? naturally coming into you see and and, and in the meantime in between time we are funded what is called Jim Crow law racist narrative about who we truly are you know covering up who we truly are should I say so brothers and sisters that's Genesis chapter 12 verse 7 and that's where your Bible should be So it says, and the Lord appeared unto Abraham. The very most important thing in this verse 7 is just what I I read. It says, and the Lord appeared. Appeared, brothers and sisters, because you will never hear about no idols appearing and disappearing in in front of their eyes. Keep understanding this point here because God you know, it tells you in Genesis, he is a spirit. Our question should be, how did God appear to Abram? You understand? But I, let's know the result of that appearance. It tells you at the bottom. It says here, and there. It says here, and there. Build it, he an altar unto the Lord. Who, what, brothers and sisters? It told you that at the top of seven, at the top of verse seven, it, it said, "Who what appeared unto him?" Matter of fact, when I post this video, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put verse uh. I'm going to put Genesis chapter 12. Yeah, because we got to get it straight, brother, sister, for, you know, we become cannon fodder to things that ain't, that ain't even, ain't got nothing to do with black folk, okay? Ukraine ain't got nothing to do with Negroes in the United States of a motherfucking America. Excuse my language, Father God. Well, I got your word as you read, Father And Joe Biden sending sending health supplies, sending more weapons. Uh, okay, thirteen point six million a billion some time ago. Why the black by the black caucus? 
and what we going through over here, we sent, we gave Joe Biden four one point million forty one to this cabinet to help him out, hoping that he would help get us situated down here with an equal economical opportunity to, you know, with the with programs that might could be able to come around about to help us open up our own businesses. You know, like our Brown brothers and sisters is being able to do coming over from Mexico. And like our white privileged European brothers and sisters, Caucasian brothers and sisters being able to purchase their franchise. They got that money to open up their franchises like McDonald's. They got a white couple man and a woman, a white man, white woman, playing the game, playing the game, and staying in tune of the game, but they don't even, they they got all brown brothers and sisters running the business. So I'm just, you know, saying, brothers and sisters, we have a place here, and not only this, it's behind reason that we're here. So, I'm just saying, we are somebody's people. We are a human being. We're not considered animal today as they looked at us back then as not even animal. Understand this. It's like Drew Down say, I roll deep in the fire. Who rides? No, that is the question. Suckers be guessing. You see what I'm saying? I say that because just like that music has a history of the of a dope era where we come from. There was a history before our history, which makes this what? An ancestry. You see what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? Makes this our ancestry. Okay? And it's already documented, it's already documented scientifically, medically, that whatever historical took place, okay, it has an effect. If the effects it left, the effects that it left still affect those for times to come. And this is what HR 40 was to put pushed into because medically, medically, they already had came to determine this medically. And I'm going to get the, 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 the doctors. I'm going to get the doctors and the historians to come and explain this to you, brothers and sisters. Okay? Yeah. So they say how, you know, it's a lot of question in Congress because ain't no, ain't no historians, you know, uh, in, in there. Okay? Tanashi Coates, he's an author, and I think is he an historian, you see? But now I'm just saying, we need to, uh, we need to, um, you know, get the right people for the right job to, you know what I'm saying, be able to, to explain the right topics. And right now, I'm just pushing this to connect the dots on our relationship with our father and how we all as black Americans can come into the adhering of our true nationality. And not only this, let me let you brothers and sisters go and join me on the next video as we begin to see how our father is promising Abraham coming from your of the Chaldean. And he will become, you know, a, a great nation. And then to show you how, you know, it, it all coming about us, brothers and sisters. So we need to come to some adherence amongst ourselves because our fathers say, you know, uh, our fathers say, you know what I'm saying? Our, father, our fathers say, ain't nobody coming to save.